Before we move on to another playwright functions, we should take a break and do a quick refresh on working with selectors, because playwright allows you to use pretty much all the important options from CSS selectors over text up to using XPath. So let's take a look at some examples. I'm gonna create a new test here and I'm gonna give it a description of selectors. And again, it's async, but in this test, there will actually be no real test. So I'm gonna comment it out after that. But I'm gonna give you some examples on how to work with selectors. So first, let's start with text. And we have already done this in the previous video. So if you want to click on something, for example, with text, you do await page.click, you type text equal and just the name of the selector, you know, it's always in the same format, text equals and the value of selector which you want to use. Next we have CSS selectors and in this case it can be for example ID, class or simple HTML element. So example number one, if you want to click on something, for example, just some generic button, you can just do button like this. Or it can be, for example, the H1 element, which we have used in the simple basic test example. Next, you can use ID. And IDs always use this number sign. If you want to click on class, You will use dot and yeah, these are the most common CSS selectors you will be working. You can also target it by input value or name value. Everything is working with Playwright. So next is to target only visible CSS selector. This is an awesome feature of Playwright. So basically you can do it await page.click and let's say you want to click on some button and you want to make sure it's visible. So for example you have something with class of submit button and you simply use visible like this. And in this case, Playwright will only click on the submit button or the class of submit button, which is visible on the screen. Next, we have, of course, combinations. So let me give you some example. If you want to click on, let's say, something with ID of username and the class of first, you can of course, do it like this. And now the playwright will click on the ID of username with the class of first. And of course, you can use any combination you want. Basically, the options are never ending. And last, I want to show you is XPath. So let's say you want to click on some, you know, button with some XPath. You can do await page dot click. And you can do it like this. You do double slash and button. Basically, you can use any valid XPath argument and Playwright will take it and execute the action. So that's it. Let me close the terminal so we can see it better. These are like five most common selectors which you gonna work with. Mostly the text, CSS selectors, combinations and XPath. So I think that's it, but I'm going to comment this out because there is no actual test. But we can use this as example for working with selectors. So I think that's all for this video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to work with inputs.